Good afternoon. I pray that your Friday was filled with spaces and places of joy, of peace, of happiness, that you had an opportunity to unwind. And I pray that for those of us who are in places where spring is finally beginning to start, that you have found and you had an opportunity to enjoy some of this spring-like weather. And for those who may be like me, who are also dealing with the allergies that come with spring, I pray that you get relief. This morning, I posted something that said, growth is often uncomfortable, messy, and full of things you weren't expecting, but it's necessary. Let me read it again. Growth is often uncomfortable, messy, and full of things you weren't expecting, but it's necessary. And I want to share with you, you know, that change, because that's what growth is about. Growth is about moving outside of your comfort zone. Growth is about expanding. Growth is about getting outside of the box and, and, and going past what the self-imposed limits you may have placed on yourself. But, you know... The process of growth, though, just that process of expanding, is probably going to be uncomfortable at times. It can be messy at times. It can maybe even be a little painful, but it is, uh, it is quite necessary if you want to be able to explore and take advantage of all that life has for you. If you want to live your best life and to walk fully in your purpose. And I believe that's what each and every one of us wants. I believe that even as we go through periods of depression, as we go with periods of high anxiety, deep down inside, what we want is to be happy. What we want is to feel free. What we want is to be able to be filled with joy. But that will take growth. I want to share a really quick story. I have seven grandchildren. And as I said before, six are males, one is female. My oldest grandchild is on the autism spectrum. He's a teenager. And um, he is considered high functioning. He can talk. He chooses not to a great deal of times. I think he's also introverted, but that's a whole nother conversation. But anyway, you know, we encourage him to use his voice. We encourage him to talk. And he has slowly began to do that. But around the age of about 13, he became kind of challenged because when he attempted to talk, the sound that was coming out was not the sound that he had been used to. And many of you know that in adolescent boys, for a lot of them, their voice begins to change. It begins to get deeper. It's a signal that they're beginning to mature, that the childlike voice that they had before is noticeably, noticeably beginning to change. But he didn't know what it was, and he was not happy with it. And so just even trying to convince him to talk became quite a challenge. But over time, and hear me out clearly, over time, the more he allowed himself to try, the more he began to get comfortable with it. The more he began to accept that this is a part of the new thing that's happening. Now, my grandson is 15 and he is six feet tall. So lots of things were changing for him. And, and, and it's for most of us, you know, as we went through adolescence, as we've gone through different periods of our life, as we've gone through changes, it hasn't always been easy, you know. Sometimes our changes are physical. Sometimes our changes are psychological. Sometimes our changes are economic. Sometimes our changes are things that we would not have asked for ourselves, but life has given us situations where it's change you must, or, you know, I'm going to say in quotes, die, you will. You're not going to physically die, but something emotionally inside of you will begin to deaden if you do not make the decision to change, if you don't make the decision to grow. And I need you to hear me clearly. I want you all to grow. I want you all to be the best that you can possibly be. 
So yes, growth can be uncomfortable, it can be messy, and sometimes full of feelings you weren't expecting, but it's absolutely necessary. Enjoy your day. Love you. Bye-bye.